Hey, what's up, dudes? It's Mr. Doheny here, and I am over here in the Western Hyperion, a more suburban area of the Hyperion Empire. And today we are going to be touring a Spanish bungalow. Let's get started. All right, you guys, so here's a Spanish bungalow, and um, I found the inspiration for this house via Pinterest. Pinterest is a great place to find inspiration for Minecraft because they have so many cool floor plans and um, this house came from a vintage floor plan from the 30s so that's how I found it and um, this is the floor plan and the poster right here. So as you can see it's very um, it's small yeah, it's small I, I, I'll give it that but it's very charming and um, I feel like old houses have more charm than new houses do. So that's why I go for older houses when I decide to uh, build a home after something. So anyway, um, let's get going on the tour here. So um, first off, you can see that something very different from the poster and my house is that this is my house has a garage underneath, which the poster did not have. So, aside from that, walking in, um, I have a big open living room here with vaulted ceilings, skylights, a ceiling fan, and a fireplace, which looks really cool. And then, um, because it's the 21st century, I have an, op I have an open concept into the uh, dining room here. <clears throat> And then I have a kitchen right here that is a pretty good size. And surprisingly, if you go back to the, I'll, I'll put a link down below for the um, uh, for the poster for the, the original floor plan of this house. And you can see that actually the kitchen is pretty big even in that. So um, I stayed true to the kitchen size. Um, back here I have the first bedroom. I gotta fix this. Certain things like that bother me so much. Okay, so here's the first bedroom. Pretty simple, pretty small, lots of windows. I added the windows. They were not called for, but what can I say? I like light. Um, here's a closet, nothing special. Um, you have the same thing in this bedroom over here, basic bedroom, vaulted ceilings, whatever. Coat closet, and then a bathroom. So that's all there is for the upstairs. And um, because there was so much empty space underneath this house, I built a basement. And again, we are going to have another bedroom right here. This is going to be the master bedroom with the master bath. This is going to be the garage right here. And um, then over here we have just a closet that's kind of underneath the stairs. This is going to be another bathroom. And lastly, this is going to be like the utilities and storage area. So um, that's pretty much it for that house. <clears throat> it's a really small house. It's really easy to build. Um, yeah, there's not much to it really. Um, ju it should, it's really just follow following a floor plan. And um, yeah, so if you guys want to watch a video and if you want me to make a video of me um, and my thought process behind um, building these houses and how I do it and how I get the measurements right so everything is to scale, um, just let me know in the comment section down below and I'd be happy to build a house for you guys. So anyway, peace out you guys. Um, please do not forget to subscribe and like this video and while you're at it, press the little bell button, bell notification button, so you get an alert when I upload a new video. Anyway, that's it you guys. Thanks, I'll see you in the next video. I wanted to show you guys the end of this video um, and I thought while well, I'm at it, I'll just give you kind of a tour. So here's where you enter. Uh, I have a sign saying Central Subway. And uh, there's ticket booths right there, and elevators go down, and um, the platform level.